Hey, what's up everyone? I just saw the pictures of uh, Robert on set, or rather his stunt double on set, uh, riding the new Bat Cycle. Um, everyone's chattering about whether they like it or not like it, this or that. Um, I thought I'd chime in with my thoughts. Uh, personally, I think it's real, I mean, I think it's, I think the suit is really cool. I like that it has a military vibe. It feels very realistic. It's definitely not at all um, overdone or elevated, kind of like the Marvel films which gives me hope that it's going to be the film and the story is going to be very detective driven. And, and what I've heard so far from the script and just kind of the overall look of the film, I think it is going to be very serious. So the costume, I think, is a great indication of that. Um, as we've noticed, there's no cape on there, but that's just for safety reasons. I'm assuming uh, it's going to be CGI'd on there. And because he's on a motorcycle for safety reasons, when Bale uh, rode the bat pod, it, he didn't have his cape either. So... And Ben Affleck's cape was also CGI'd. Uh, the cowl is what really everyone's kind of going on about. They don't like that it looks like leather wrapped um, fiberglass. And it has, as you can look in some of the photos, it looks like there's actually some lenses in the front of it, which is interesting. I mean, I like that it has a unique vibe on the mask. It's definitely unique. It's not anything we've, we've seen before. It's not rubber, which is what all the Keaton, Kilmer, and Clooney cowls had, and even the Affleck cowl. Um, had which which all look fantastic, but this is like a new look, which I think is cool. Um, that's not Robert Patterson in the uh, in the suit. That's a stunt double. So everyone that's kind of looking at his jaw and confused, that's not him either. So don't don't get all crazy about that. I think it's interesting. I also think that this, from what I've heard, this is his second or this is his first outfit. He's gonna have two outfits in the film, so this is like his pre outfit. Uh, I like it. I'm interested. I'm not, I don't think it's terrible. Also, we're looking at this pre-color correction, pre-really dramatic lighting. We're just looking at set videos. So I would tell everyone to chill, wait a second. But on the same side, I am not 100% sold on the cowl. So I don't know, but we don't know anything about it. So we'll see. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you want to see different? Do you like that it's military? Do you, do you prefer the more comic book look that Ben Affleck had on there? What are your guys' thoughts? Overall, I'm excited, but a little disappointed in the cow. So we'll see. Uh, also, another cool news, we just launched our um, Batman Indiegogo uh, film project. So definitely click the link below. Uh, we've been working on our costume for months now. That is Kevin Porter in the costume, which is Kevin's great. And we have, of course, Sean Reeves, who made the outfit, who is also fantastic. So I can't wait to show you guys what we've been working on and make this film a reality, but we can't do that without you guys. So definitely click the link below and support the project and let's create some awesome batman goodness this should be this year and next year should be the year of the bat so also this is something new that i'm trying out here that i would love to keep doing it's great to to go on here and chat with you guys just about current batman news um because i always have these internal discussions with people on the bits team and friends and they're like why don't you just hop on and and, and talk with everyone you know so this is kind of a new thing and a fun thing so if you guys want to for me to keep doing this and keep conversing with you guys please also let me know in the, in the comments below but uh i'm excited about the project our project warner brothers talking to you guys everything so cool